happy Wednesday, witches. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well and having a great Wednesday. Week's halfway over. And I wanted to come on here today and talk about a question I've been being asked over the last few days about the witches' balls. Excuse my lisp. <laughs> I have my braces in, my Invisalign, so I sound even more special than I already do when I speak. Um, but anyways, uh, you don't have to technically just use a ball <clears throat> to do that. You can use a sock. You can use a little sack with drawstrings. You can even use a glass jar like this right here. It's a sock. You can take these, you can put whatever you want to in there. You can cut them off, you can make more than one with this, you can sew up the bottom. And you can just take it up top and string it up. Because they don't have to hang from the ceiling at all. You can put them in a corner, you can set them on a shelf, just put them in the corners. Say like me. <clears throat> You're supposed to, the best way to do it is put it in the four corners of each window of your home. It's a good way to do it also. You can do it that way also, but I only have windows on two sides of my apartment. So I'm going to have to put one in a window over here, one in a window over there, and I'm going to put one in a corner of my shower and then one in a corner of my kitchen. That's, around, that's how I'm going to do it. <clears throat> in some places I can't hang stuff because I can't get up there. So I'm just going to set it in there. But I know it's there. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't technically have to be a witch's ball. And I do have some to show y'all. I got these from the dollar store and I got them a while back. They're just plain little clear plastic balls. This one right here has still got the plastic on it, but you see what I'm saying? They like Christmas ornaments and you can pop them open. I didn't know these popped open from the middle, so y'all gonna see me gluing some stuff in one of these to make it stay so it doesn't jiggle around and pop open on me. And whenever we close them up, you can put tape on them. You can uh, like an Easter egg, like the stuff you hide stuff in for kids. Well, this is what I'm going to be using, but they're like a dollar a piece at the dollar store, but you can use jars and stuff too. You can use these little sacks right here. You can use these because it's got the drawstrings on it. You can pull them shut. You can tie them shut. You can hang them from your rear view in your car, anything. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a protection ball, protection sachet. And the same applies for each. You can use the same herbs in each. You can just put them in different places. It's for protection. It's how you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? And also, oh, oh. Ooh, stop jiggling. I hit it with my hand. This right, these little sachets right here, you can use these also. The little clear ones, you can hang them. You can hang them from a hook. You can tie them to something to leave them like behind your bed, under your bed, like right where you sleep. You can even slide one in your pillow. That's a good idea because I do that also. I have crystals and stuff that stay in my pillowcase at night for my dreaming and my lucid dreams. And, you know, some of us have night terrors and use the right crystals, put them in here. It helps. Just saying. Or you can use a jar. Oops, oh, my hair. You can use one of these and you can put all your stuff in it. And what you can do to hang these up, and it's kind of cool to use these because it's like a decoration. You can decorate, decorate, decorate. <laughs> I'm having a special day. You can decorate the outside of these. You can decorate the lid, but you can take some string and just like get four pieces of string, even three, and you can tie them or glue them to the bottom and just pull it over the top and you can have the string hanging it and put a loop in it, get it like a little um, round clip or something and just hang it. You can make it look really cool. It doesn't have to be plastic balls. It doesn't have to be glass balls. That's what they ideally use, but you don't have to use that. Or even Easter eggs. If you have some leftover Easter eggs from Easter, Oster, I pronounce it the right way when I'm looking at it. So we all know how to pronounce things. But I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know that. You don't have to have a ball. You can put it in anything you want. It's for your protection from anything, any outside, any people, entities, anything that you feel like you need protection from. You can put whatever we use, whatever you decide to use, because I attached a list to my Facebook, my Instagram, and my TikTok of all the stuff you could possibly use. You don't have to have all that. You can just get a few things from each and use those. It's whatever you choose. 
So have a great day. You're a badass witch. I'll see you Friday.